Good evening, fellow wet shavers. Leave right back. No more shaves here with another shaving video. One that I am super, super excited to share with you. <clears throat> Pardon me. So Monday, I got a package in the mail by Anonymous. And in it was some pretty freaking amazing stuff. Um, have you guys heard of Sebums Gold? I hope I pronounced that right. Sebums? Sebums? I'm going to say Sebums. I apologize if it's wrong. But Sebums Gold is um, an aftershave produced by um, Rick Sproul, and it's supposed to be some really, really amazing stuff. Yeah, um, it does tend to be a little on the pricey side, but I think the quality of the ingredients really speak about the price. Um, but, um, so this package included samples of some Sebum's Gold. It actually included a bit more than just gold. It included some purple and the new blue as well. Um, and oh, and, and the latte. Oh man, that smells really good. It smells just like an espresso. <sighs> really good. But tonight's shave, I'm going to be going with purple soap. Um, I've got this much in there. This is a sample provided by Anonymous. Um, so thank you. And this is um. <clears throat> oh man, I can't remember the name of the. So it's uh, like a. I think it's julep. But um, it's got a minty smell to it that, dude, it reminds me of those little mint chocolate candies that I used to eat as a kid at the movie theater. You know, this it's the white minty candy on the inside is surrounded by the, the milk chocolate on the outside. I forgot what they were called, probably mints or something like that. <laughs> but it reminds me of that. Now you guys know I'm not a huge mint fan, but this is supposed to have like a menthol kind of cooling effect right so I'm very very interested in trying this so I've got the soap which it's it's not released yet um, and I've got the um, aftershave serum which I'm super super excited to, to use um, I was gonna bowl lather but I think I'm just gonna smear some on my face and then just face lather what am I gonna use to lather with this bad boy right here Yes, I have one of these. It's an Envy Shave brush. Um, it's a 25 millimeter Black Wolf knot, I believe. And it's it feels really, really, really nice. I've been sitting on this for a little while, waiting for a very special occasion to use it, and I think this is it. What am I going to use to destroy this three three days of growth, growth with? Needs no introduction. The Wick Sexto Blade with the Kismet Blade on here. Fifth use, I believe. Alright. Now... You guys know I'm not a minty person, right? But something about this really smells nice. And I'm really excited to, to, to see how much the scent changes as you lather. So I got like a little spoon. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dig some out. And then I'll put some on my face. And then we'll begin to lather. So I'm going to wet my face. And then we'll get cracking. We'll go cold water. Now, if you guys follow um, Michael Friedberg, you may or may not know, he recently did, so I got about that much, I think that's enough. He recently did a review on Sebum's Blue, which that's his most expensive one, but that also has some oh shit, extremely rare ingredients in it. Unfortunately, when you go to his website, it's all pretty much sold out everything and I think because of the cost of the blue I think it's special order so you got to keep that in mind now I have cheated a little bit I haven't used the soap but I've been using so this is the purple serum that I have tonight that I'll be using this is too much soap I think yeah this is gonna be too much shit sorry but oh well yeah this is gonna be way too much god dang it I'm um, wasting it. Now, I have been using the um, the gold at night with no other, like, normally when I finish my showers and stuff, I put um, witch hazel on. Nothing. I've been using four or five drops and just kind of massaging it into my face. <clears throat> Pardon me. My face feels good. It feels very, um, 
velvety or, or silky or, or, or something like that. It's really, really nice. Scent is very pleasant, kind of, kind of woody. This one is, um, like I mentioned, it's got that, I think it's like mint julep. Oh man, I'm so sorry guys, but you guys can go check it out on his website. Let me just put some sink water in the sink here. Put some water in it. water. Now, for these, so this is all essential oil based and I believe part of the reason why these are kind of pricey is the um, process used to get the um, essential oils. <clears throat> um, I, don't, I apologize, I, I don't know if Rick does it himself or if um, he buys these, I think he buys them. But the process is not steam, right? It's a different process. Um, I forgot, I'm, I'm a bad reviewer. Oh, I love the feeling of this, this is nice. Look at this lather though, man, this is beautiful. This is nice. I like the way this feels. Now also in the package I got a, uh, a scrub and it's a latte scrub <clears throat> pardon me I haven't tried it yet um, I've never used a scrub before but um, I've got instructions on how to use it and I, I just want to have the time to use it you know Ooh. it did change a little bit the scent it's more um, floral now. Can you imagine um, like a, a floral mintiness and I can feel the cooling sensation? Oh, it feels beautiful. It feels really, really nice. That's a nice lather. I can probably go a little bit more water. My mirror is getting all foggy again. Beautiful, beautiful. I have not come across a bad review on this stuff yet. Have not. It's really, pardon me, really good stuff. All right. Sorry, let me clean the mirror off a little bit more. Don't knock the phone. I love the feeling of this. It's, oof. It's scent strength two, three, maybe. And I think maybe that's why I'm, I don't mind the mint so much. Well, that's a beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at that. That is nice. All right, here we go. First pass with the gray. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. Well, I can tell you. So far, it performs as good <clears throat> as any of your high-end soaps out there.
all skin food. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm liking this so far, so good. So far, so good. Fifth use and the blade is still going strong. See that? Left hand. <laughs> All right. So Slickness, protection. This is like um, like sour cream or or Greek yogurty type consistency, and it's oof. And what's what I like. Ooh, man, that's beautiful. Really, really nice. All right, let me rinse this off and we'll go to pass number two. Hmm. What I like about this is I can smell it through the entire shave. Wow, this is slick stuff. Shoot, I'm wasting it. Now I know there was a couple people that got some samples of this. Um, Rick, had, I know I saw some pictures of it on his Instagram <clears throat> page. I think the Instagram is Seagulls Gold. And he's got a Facebook page, you know, he's a website, of course. Um, so I remember seeing that. Um, this stuff is really, really nice. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying the coolingness of this. It's not strong. It's not even as strong as um, like a, a sterling menthol, like um, a margaritas in the Arctic. It's not quite that strong. It's, it's a bit below that. Wow, it's nice. I mean, it's 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 beautiful. Like I said, I was a little bit hesitant, right? But <clears throat> but no. I think um the biggest point of this is like how good it is for the skin, right? I mean, there's no harsh chemicals, no, none of that stuff. Everything is natural in it. I think.
you want to get the idea of the quality of the stuff, it's kind of like the stuff, like, if you're going to go to, like, a very high-end spa, and you buy their stuff, which will cost you, like, a thousand dollars or something like that, it's, it's, it's like that. I think the quality of the ingredients are, are up, up that type of category. <clears throat> Really looking forward to this, um, to the serum. <laughs> the soap is like this. So now that's hand, not too bad. It's getting there, getting there. Damn, these kids in the blades are nice. Really similar to a straight razor. All right, so we're gonna rinse off and reduce my little touch-ups right here. Very, very nice. It does have some residual slickness too. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm telling you, everything you expect in a good high-end soap, this has. I've been fortunate enough to try some pretty decent soaps this past year. It's easily can compete with all of those, easily. I just added a little bit of water and see what it can do about building the leather. God dang. I love that cooling effect. It's not very strong. It's, it's there. Just lets you know, hey, I'm cooling you down. Excellent spring, summer so Excellent. But for me, winter time. Summertime, anytime. All right, tell you what. The uh, kindness of this community is never ever ceases to amaze me. This, this is beyond generous. I don't want to stop. Hmm. 
I hope I gave this review a little bit of justice, or the soap. I would say I would agree with everything that Michael Freeberg said. Everything. This is a great soap. <clears throat> and I think. Let me rinse off. Oh, real quick. I think each serum slash soap has slightly different properties. Like the serums, right? Um, I think the gold is a bit thicker than the other, than the purple, the latte, and the blue. I think those ones are a bit thinner. Oh man, this is nice. I'm enjoying this. I apologize, I'm enjoying this. <clears throat> Beautiful. So I believe um, Rick himself has um, pretty sensitive skin, and that's one reason one reason why he came up with this. You know, he just wanted to do it for himself, really. And then through word of mouth, and I think you know, people try to say, just convince him, hey, dude, just sell it. <laughs> it's good stuff. And this is great. Really, really nice. All right, so this is wet. I'm go ahead, I'm gonna put the serum on. I haven't, used, like I said, I haven't used the purple yet. Um, I got these little droppers here, four drops. It's plenty. I'm gonna slightly, I don't, not quite as minty as the soap. So there's a, you guys can see that, like a goldish yellow consistency. I know your face is supposed to be um, dry, but it's still humid in this bathroom. It's a, actually a, a very pleasant scent. Like I said, the, the, to me, the mint is more floral than mint. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it's very, very pleasant. Really, really nice. No irritation, zero, zero, no tingle. Just that coolness from the, I guess it's menthol. Maybe it's just from the, the mint oils, but it's, it's wonderful. <clears throat> That's an impeccable shade. Really, really good. I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick. I don't wanna waste this. All right. That was awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, this is wet. So I'm not gonna put the, the cover got wet. So I'm not gonna put that on just yet. I'll dry it off later. That was my shave, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I absolutely enjoyed this. I am floored by this little piff. <laughs> the, um, I I think just based on the the the, the skin food ingredients alone, it's it's. It's really, really good, and it's actually might be worth considering just looking at some samples of it, just to, you know, just to try it out because it's it's wonderful. Um, like I said, I have not come across a bad review. You know, I mean, it's got, you know, people do complain about the price, but I, I get why it's so expensive. I I totally understand that. I mean, you really get what you pay for, you know. This is this is nice. This is really really nice. <clears throat> I'm digging this. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Anonymous, thank you. I really 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 appreciate this. 
Um, let me rinse off my brush real quick. Oh, it's a beautiful scent. Like I said, it's not strong. It doesn't hit you in the face. It's there. And it's... I don't know if you've ever been had a chance to go to a spa. Um, if you haven't, treat yourself and just, just do it. It's nice. <clears throat> and the scent really does remind me of that. You know, it's pleasant. It's there. Not overpowering. But really, really, really nice. Man, I don't know what else to say. I, I man, this is good. Let me do a quick little recap. Razor tonight was the Weck Sexto Blade with a Kismet. Fifth use, still going strong. This uh, pretty sweet Envy Shades brush with a, I believe it's a 25 millimeter Black Wolf knot on here. Um, this is, it's, I think this might be the best synthetic knot I've, I've tried so far. It's really, really good. Star of the show by far was this um, Sebum's Purple Soap. Um, I've got probably at least five more shaves in here. Um, yeah, I, I used too much this time, but it's okay. I, I got a better understanding of how much to use. And I'll use a smaller knot. Oh, really quick. I do apologize for not using the uh, Sterling Bore. But with this soap, I wanted to use a synthetic just to, you know what I mean? Just to give it a really good chance. <laughs> and then post shave is this. This is it. I'm not going to put anything else on tonight. <clears throat> this is the um, purple serum from Sebums. Um, awesome stuff. Beautiful scent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, that's it, everybody. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know it was a little bit long, but I just really wanted to try to give you my thoughts on this stuff. And it's, it's wonderful. Look, I don't even have any, hardly any irritation. This is great. Really, really good. Um, okay, we're done. I'm out of here, everybody. Again, Anonymous, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is beautiful. I like it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else Rick can put out. So, Rick, <clears throat> if you ever watch this, thumbs up, dude. This stuff is fantastic. This is really, really good stuff. I enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want a better review <laughs> than, than what I just did, check out Michael Friedberg, please. Um, if I remember, I'll put his link to the video down, down below. He did a fantastic job. Fantastic. All right, that's it. I'm out of here, everybody. If I don't see you again, I hope you'll... Oh, this is only Wednesday, so take care of yourself, everybody. I'm sure I'll see you guys again before the weekend, or at least maybe on the weekend. Ciao, everybody. Thanks again, and don't test and drive.